South America has the most diverse set of wildlife on Earth, thanks to the sprawling rainforest that dominates the continent. However, due to human encroachment, animal habitat has dwindled considerably, and quite a few species are now facing extinction, making them extremely rare. Let's learn about these animals before they're gone for good. From a robust freshwater mammal to what quite possibly is the rarest bird in the world, here are 10 of the rarest animals in South America. Number 10. The Amazonian Manatee the Amazonian manatee is the smallest of the four manatee species and originally inhabited all the rivers of Amazon and Orinoco basins, thus including parts of Colombia and Venezuela. However, this amazing marine mammal has been highly sought after by hunters for its abundant meat and oil that can be got from it. Over the years, hunting has severely diminished the populations, making finding one quite rare. The Amazonian manatee is currently classified as a vulnerable species by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature and is listed by the Brazilian Ministry of the Environment as a species under threat of extinction. In Brazil, hunting it has been forbidden since 1973, but because it's such a docile and curious animal, it often comes up close to a boat in river traffic and becomes an easy prey for hunters or involves itself in accidents with boats. The Amazonian manatee is purely herbivorous, that is, it feeds exclusively on algae, aquatic plants, and aquatic grasses. Nevertheless, munching away, plant by plant, the manatee can eventually weigh up to 300 kilograms and be as long as 2.5 meters. Number 9. The Demonic Poison Frog The Demonic Poison Frog, also known as Yapacana's Little Red Frog, is listed as critically endangered on the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. Its range in the humid montane forest habitats on the Cerro Yapacana in southern Venezuela is probably less than 10 kilometers long. This small species, like other poison dart frogs, is known for being highly toxic. This is a feature that they obtain through their diet, which primarily consists of bromeliad plants. The demonic poison frog is under major threat from the destruction and degradation of its habitat through open cast or open pit gold mining and its associated pollution and fires, with additional habitat loss resulting from wildfires. It's also under threat from overcollection by the pet trade. Number 8. The Alagoas Antren the Alagoas antren is one of the many species of birds that is endemic only to Brazil. It is an extremely rare bird, also listed as critically endangered on the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. The main cause of this beautiful bird's decline is habitat loss. They can only be found in the states of Pernambuco and Alagoas, which are considered the two epicenters of extinction due to rampant deforestation in that area. As of writing, the Alagoas antren's population is now thought to be less than 30 individuals and severely fragmented. Its natural habitat is subtropical or tropical moist lowland forest. Logging and fires are the primary cause behind its decline, something that is expected to continue as a network of roads for logging continues into the Atlantic forest. Since the population is limited to higher elevations, climate change is thought to pose yet another threat. To combat this, several tracts of land have been purchased and reserved, such as the Mariki Ecological Station, have been created. Here's hoping that the additional habitat will be enough to keep their rapid decline in check. Number 7. The Galapagos Giant Tortoise It is possible, though perhaps unlikely, that among the remaining giant tortoises of the Galapagos Islands, there exists an old-timer that was a hatchling at the time of Charles Darwin's famous visit in 1835. Giant tortoises are the longest-lived of all vertebrates, averaging over a hundred years. The oldest on record lived to be 152. They are also the world's largest tortoises, with some specimens exceeding 5 feet in length and reaching 550 pounds. During the time of Darwin, there were around 250,000 giant tortoises scattered around the islands of the Galapagos. Hunted as food by pirates, whalers, and merchantmen during the 17th, 18th, and 19th centuries, more than 100,000 tortoises are estimated to have been killed off. Non-native species, such as feral pigs, dogs, cats, rats, goats, and cattle are a continuing threat to their food supply as well as their eggs. Things were so bad that by the end of the 70s, only 3,000 individual tortoises remained. Many subspecies of this animal have since gone extinct, but a few are holding on. Heck, some are even bouncing back. It's estimated that 20,000 to 25,000 wild tortoises live on the islands today. Number 6. The Golden Lion Tamarin A striking species, golden lion tamarins are small social South African primates with a magnificent reddish gold coat and a long backswept mane. Once down to 200 individuals in the wild, intensive conservation efforts have helped the population recover. 
Still an endangered species, there are about 2,500 in the wild, about a third of which are descendants of golden lion tamarins raised in human care. Despite the increase in numbers, they can still be considered as one of the rarest primates in the world. Golden lion tamarins are small monkeys weighing 17 to 24 ounces and measuring 6 to 10 inches in length with a tail of about 12 to 15 inches. Like most monkeys, they are omnivorous, feeding on fruits, insects, and smaller invertebrates. Any smaller animal is possible food. They use their long, slender fingers and hands to probe into crevices, bark, bromeliads, and other hiding places for their prey. These tamarins share food with their family groups, but rarely share food with others outside their family. Juveniles, for example, playfully steal food from parents or siblings. Golden lion tamarins live in the heavily populated Atlantic coastal regions of southwestern Brazil. But as I mentioned earlier, habitat loss has caused their populations to tragically take a dive. These guys would definitely have gone extinct if it weren't for the efforts of conservationists. Number 5. The Waved Albatross The waved albatross is the largest bird in the Galapagos with a wingspan of up to 2.5 meters. Both sexes have a white head with a creamy yellow crown and neck, while the body is mainly chestnut brown with a white breast and underwing. They have a dull yellow bill which appears too long for their small heads and bluish feet. They get their name from the wave-like pattern on the adult's wings. As with all albatrosses, they are exceptional gliders and spend the vast portion of their lives above the open ocean. One of their most interesting behaviors is their courtship dance, which includes bill circling, bill clacking, head nodding, a waddle, and a cow-like moo. Couples made for life in each breeding season, the female lays a single egg on bare ground, which is probably one of the reasons why this bird is so rare and is endangered. There is estimated to be between 50,000 and 70,000 individuals with approximately 12,000 breeding pairs. That may not sound like the number of a rare species to you, but given the fact that they can only be found in the Galapagos and their lives are under constant threat to climate change and overfishing, which greatly affects their food supply, 70,000 doesn't sound too big a number. Number 4. The Orinoco Crocodile The Orinoco Crocodile isn't widely known today and with good reason. Its population is very small and it can only be found in the freshwater environments in Colombia and Venezuela. In particular, the Orinoco River and its tributaries. These animals were hunted to near extinction during the 19th and 20th centuries due to the demand for crocodile leather. Nowadays, pollution and collection of juvenile crocodiles for the live animal trade, in addition to hunting, have reduced the population of South America's top reptilian predator to a mere 500 or so individuals. They are extremely large. In fact, they are the largest species of crocodilian and predator in the Americas. One particular male specimen, which was shot back in the 1800s, was a whopping 22 feet long. However, due to overhunting, you'll be hard-pressed to find one that large today. Adult crocodiles are carnivorous. They mainly feed upon birds, fish, and small mammals, including capybaras. Juveniles, on the other hand, tend to consume more insects, crabs, snail, and fish. Number 3. The Panamanian Golden Frog The Panamanian Golden Frog is a tiny, brightly colored toad-like frog native to the rainforest and cloud forests of the Cordillerian Mountains that run like a spine through western central Panama in Central America. It's small, rarely growing beyond 5 centimeters and weighs around 12 grams. They're extremely rare, so rare in fact that it's thought that they're completely extinct out in the wild. Panamanian golden frogs expose themselves by day to predators such as snakes and birds, but their brightly colored skin serves as a warning. Their skin is toxic if ingested, and this serves as a powerful deterrent to most predators. To other animals, their beauty is the mark of a poisonous animal. Panamanian golden frogs have also left their mark on the culture of their native land. The golden frog is to Panama what the bald eagle is to the U.S., a national cultural symbol. Panamanians take pride in this rare and beautiful species, and all Panamanians know the golden frog through myth and folklore and by seeing its image everywhere. And now it's time for today's best pick. Today's best pick is probably the ugliest bird I've ever seen. In fact, it looks more reptilian than bird-like. What kind of red creature is this? Is it even from South America? Well, we'll find out next with number two. The Shoebill. Every day, scientists continue to discover and publish irrefutable links between dinosaurs and birds. This next animal on our list is a look that epitomizes this link like no other modern bird. It looks so, for lack of a politer term, unique, and it gained the unwelcome title of the scariest bird in the world. 
The Shoebill, also called the Shoebill Murder Bird, for reasons that will be clear in a bit, is native to the marshes of East Africa and your nightmares. This masterful hunter is a reclusive menace to the inhabitants of the lands it occupies. Shoebills are naturally shy creatures, so it only follows that scientists know little of their behavior. But what they do know is just downright appalling. When scientists were observing a nesting shoebill, they discovered that it laid two eggs. Like most birds, the eggs didn't hatch at the same time, so in a few days, one chick was noticeably larger than the other. The larger bird was not only favored by the parent, but it also viciously pecked at the smaller chick until the bird was driven from the nest to shrivel in the sun and pass away, hence its morbid moniker. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Spix's Macaw Spix's Macaw is perhaps the most endangered animal on this list. Technically, it actually went extinct in the wild a couple of decades back, with the last known wild specimen disappearing in 2000. However, in 2020, 52 captive birds were reintroduced back into the wild to Brazil, giving the species a bounce back. These parrots have an incredibly restricted natural habitat. They're only found in Brazilian riverline woodland containing the trumpet tree, the only tree that forms large enough hollows for these birds to nest in. These woodlands have been destroyed by logging, and Africanized killer bees that were released in Brazil during the 1950s now outcompete macaws for nest sites in trumpet tree hollows. However, one day, captive bred Spix macaws may one day be released back into the wild due to intensive conservation efforts restoring the habitat of this exceptionally rare bird. Do you know of any other creatures from South America? Let us know down below in the comments. Also, make sure to check out the channel's other amazing content. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.